Aisha from Sun Speak Interiors. Welcome to one of the projects that we're having here, commercial. We're doing a renovation of offices for one of our clients. It's going to be fun. So this is one of the spaces that we're doing. This is uh, going to be the reception. So in this reception, uh, you can see the old bef before photos where we had to demolish part of the finishes, the floor, and then we had to do this build up with brick and mortar. For this particular wall, we are going to add brick cladding and put a few frames and some lighting picture, which is very beautiful. I can't wait for all of you to see. We have a beautiful white sofa here. And right over here, we will have the reception desk. On this wall, we will add wood slats as part of the design and we will have a gypsum ceiling and on this particular part there will be a beautiful chandelier hanging which uh, will really define the space so I can't wait for all of you to see this, it will be really, really nice. This is going to be the corridor that will lead from the reception. This wall is going to be amazing, we'll put uh, wood slats till here there and leave a space in the middle, I think from uh, around 1.2 meters. And then we will put painting, no, picture frame, where they can hang their t-shirts, as sort of like a, like trophy frames, you know, because my client is a football club, so definitely we need to put up their t-shirts, their favorite players. Yeah, so this is gonna be really cool. This is the finance office. So um, what we did, just a little bit of what we did, there was a wardrobe here because this is an old house we're renovating to offices. So there's a wardrobe here which we had to remove. And here we're going to be playful and do creative shelving, which will be really good. You will see in the after photos and also see how the real thing will look. So creative shelving here. We will do wooden slats that will run from the floor, wall, ceiling, back to the floor. And then we'll have gypsum here also. Very nice, it's very creative. Um, yeah, so that's just part of the bit we're gonna do here. This room will be a bit dark, as you can see. Um, so we'll use a lot of artificial lighting. And um, this aluminium, has to be frosted because it's just adjacent to the reception and you don't want the guys at the reception to see what's happening in the office by him he can see <laughs> so yeah so that's it for finance welcome to the other space this is will be the director's office so we have sort of repeated this office. so basically still there were wardrobes here which were removed we're going to do creative shelving same thing, uh, there'll be wooden slats running from the floor, wall, ceiling, back to the floor. And then on this wall, as also the other offices, there will be white brick cladding. It's just to bring more of the industrial, Scandinavian look. Be really good. Um, still, same gypsum ceiling, but with recessed lights. And we will have wall mounts, light fixtures, that will be above the picture frames, which is, will all work out well. It's, it's really nice. So, for the floor, we are using um, laminate flooring, which is more of a whitewash look. And um, one other cool thing, uh, we are going to have strips in every office we are going to have like gray strips on the floor so we have laminate flooring and then we'll have concrete which we will paint whatever color we want so with the two colors we're using there's gray and red which uh, represent the colors of the our clients company so we're using gray here look at this place there's so much light the big windows we have actually two windows here uh, where we're going to put the aluminium frames and they both have beautiful views uh, there's so much space even um, let's start with this wall this wall it's um, from the floor this there'll be a strip as I was explaining we'll put concrete and then paint it gray and put manoleum so it can be very shiny more like 
polished concrete. Then on this wall, we're gonna do a white brick cladding and then we'll put um, picture frames. Um, of course, sports picture frames uh, of the liking and also maybe the company logo. And uh, there'll be wall mounting, wall mounting pictures, which will now be above the, the picture frames. So there's that. And then the wooden slats will run from here to the floor, from the, to the wall, ceiling, back to the floor. Yeah, so this, this place is really nice. Here is his desk, which is around, I think, 1.2 by 0 0.8 meters. It's, it's a huge desk, white in color. So we, we're really careful with the colors because, you know, color brings life to a room. And yeah, so we have to go with the rhythm of the room. And uh, so the colors are white, gray white uh, and also this this wall will be painted gray uh, for all the floors uh, in old rooms we are going to use laminate flooring so a whitewash look flooring and then with the concrete strip then uh, for the ceiling definitely every room has gypsum ceiling for the offices we made it more simple so we did use the, the square frame gypsum with recessed down lights on each side i think around 10 and uh, yeah, so this, this I'm really excited. Come with me, i show you some. This is where the wardrobes were. This side and this side. Very ugly looking wardrobes, as in, <laughs> this is a very old house. So we had to remove this and uh, we are going to have a lot of fun here and here. We're gonna do creative shelving here and you'll see in the after pictures and here as well. And we're gonna have like a beautiful industrial pendant hanging here where there'll be a gypsum frame. And then this is the washroom. Come with me, I'll show you what we will do. We removed the, the tiles, they were very old looking tiles, very hard to remove, but we managed. <laughs> So this is where the sanitary fixtures are going to be placed. The toilet. This is going to be like the, the vanity top. We're using a green marble. Very beautiful. You see it in the after pictures. And um, we are using a brown cabinet underneath the vanity top. We have a, definitely a mirror here and the industrial pendant here, which matches the whole look for the house. Uh, still, we're replicating the aluminium windows. The flooring uh, will be ceramic tiles. It will be gray tiles on the wall and white tiles uh, on the floor. This is just to balance the color and also reflect the, the white um, light in the room. One difference that we had of these spaces, this initially was a storage room Ah, uh, sorry, this was initially was the toilet and this was the storage room. So we switched it up because if we made this to be the ladies' toilet, it would be really small. There would be no space to put the vanity top, mirror, I mean, even the door as it swings inside, there would be really no space. So the plumbing works is done here and the, the, it will be switched now to this side where this will be the ladies. Uh, it, this is the same size as the CEO washroom. so. Everything the same work, tile work, uh, ceramic tiles on the floor. This will be the open plan space. As you can see, there's so much space. Uh, there'll be, I think around 16 people who are sitting here. From here, there'll be um, a four seater, six seater, another four seater, and then another two seater. So around 16 people uh, of, uh, people working in this space. So we have to make this space very uh, comfortable. So there's a lot that is going to be done in this space. From uh, this wall, this is actually the wall that we've made to be an accent wall for the whole uh, house. So as you walk in, the first thing you see is this wall. So we are going to put wooden slats running from this point to the ceiling, all the way to the ceiling. And uh, there's going to be 3D signage here. Uh, this will basically be 
the logo of the company, which is spots like never before. So as I told you, I'm dealing with clients who are sports related and yeah. So there'll be a logo here. Um, we're going to do brick cladding here, white brick cladding, which will cover till the end because this is a fireplace. Um, also the gypsum, will be very different like so there's this one gypsum different from this one different from that place different from that place so it's all very different and then the, we have large windows which are aluminium sliding windows it's gonna have it's gonna run through till there black framed still we have to coordinate the colors uh, of the place so we are having um, wooden slats white bricks black aluminium frames and um, yeah so we have a very beautiful view actually outside here um, when we move to this space we'll have a four-seater here and then a two-seater here we had uh, initially we had we had a grill here glass same as this actually this green. We decided to keep this one because it's actually very old and it will be good for security um, and then it won't pose many problems as we're installing the aluminium sliding door so there won't be so much uh, issues when installing that so we decided to keep this. We just need to repaint it so it can look nice but this is very strong and good so we're keeping that. Um, so we'll have uh, aluminium window here which will slightly be partitioned to make it a bit stronger uh, around here this space is going to be enclosed with glass so imagine this space with glass you'll see it in the after photos so glass and then frosting and then maybe meeting so be just the meeting area. so yeah we're going to level this area so it's going to be very flat what we're doing on the floor is still laminate flooring we chose the white wash look to just uh to create more light you know lighter colors bring more light creates bigger spaces creates a good ambience in the room so yeah that's what we we're aiming for so white washed laminate flooring and um one cool thing is <laughs> Sorry, there's so much clutter but anyways there will be a red strip running from here all the way to there all the way to the wall this is also we we're just coordinating the colors because our clients seem to like red so you go with what the clients like so red uh, red strip for this uh, place we are just going to use concrete so we'll just put concrete first to even to the boardroom and then polish it, color it with red, and then yeah, it will look fantastic. So this is the boardroom. Huh? Initially, this place was very small. We had some cabinetry here, around from here to here, going up. So it was eating so much of the space. We had this door which leads to the kitchen we had to remove it and this is basically the space we were we just wanted to create more space for this room so this is the boardroom and as a boardroom it's supposed to be a meeting place where it's it's a it's for our client the sports channel so they they, are, they need to create an aura where they are very aggressive <laughs> and they're motivating each other so we did a lot here um, you will see in the after photos. So for here, uh, there'll be a table of eight people. Um, and then there'll be wooden slats running from here to the ceiling, but there'll be a cross, you will see them. And then on the side, we are putting brick clad, white brick clad, white brick clad. And then of course, like we're just gonna position the TV here. You don't need to use a projector because as I said it's, it's a small space so a TV is an ideal uh, equipment to use. Uh, then on this space, this wall, 
since we've removed this door, we're gonna put a gypsum board to cover this, and then so it's gonna just be seamless, one full wall. And we have designed a wallpaper which uh, incorporates both of the two companies, and it's going to be really nice. So we've designed a wallpaper and we are having uh, our branding team which will paint it. So it will be the wallpaper will cover from here to there and uh, there'll be glass running from there to there, from here to there with glass frosting. And then maybe a writing called meeting area. So basically that's it. And then for for the ceiling, we've done something different from the rest. We are, it will be a square framed uh, gypsum ceiling. However, it will, be, it will be more on a lower level. Inside, we are going to partition. It's like, I think three, four by three boxes. So there'll be 12 boxes and there'll be painted red in color. We're gonna use uh, wood frames. So that will be very different. And then still the full ceiling gypsum with recessed down lighters. So that's the only difference. This is gonna be really cool. I like it. So this was the red was going to complement the red strip that's going to run across through to the open plan. I could not do this on my own. Definitely as an interior designer, interior design company, you have to collaborate with contractors and the like, so with a very talented team. My name is Leta Steven Minja. Yes. Yes. After brand iron, I have a gypsum, after gypsum, I have a skimming, after skimming, sanding, after sanding, sanding. He's very good actually. I he started with the channels. You have any channels? Ameka channels and then you have a nimbao. After channels, you have support. Yeah. After support, you put easy gypsum. Yeah, this is the gypsum, the gypsum board. So every office needs a kitchen. So this will be the kitchen for the office. I, this was a very old kitchen and we had to remove all the cabinets, uh, the sink, the sanitary, it was just bad. We had to remove everything, the tile work, which was very hard stone. So what we're gonna do, where I'm standing, is where we're going to put the kitchen cabinetry. Really nice PDF boards. Uh, then uh, for the back slash, which will be here, we're gonna put like wooden slats, painted gray. It's gonna have the Scandinavian look. Actually, this is very Scandinavian. Uh, we are going to do um, definitely like sandstone tiles uh, on the floor. Um, for the wall, we're just gonna do tiles still here. Actually, half of the place, which is, I think there'll be gray tiles and then Onwards, we're gonna paint white. So half of the lower, uh, sorry, the lower floor, sorry, the lower wall, we're going to do gray tiles, and the upper wall, we're gonna paint it white. So we, the cabinets are running from here onwards. It's it's an L-shaped cabinet uh, till there. Then around that space, we're gonna put the fridge, so we don't want it to be very uh, cluttered. So there'll be the cooker there. The... Definitely, we all know in a kitchen, the, um, the sink needs to be where the window is. <laughs> That's just the rule. So yeah, the cabinet there, aluminum windows. Uh, then there's gonna be, we're definitely in this spaces, we're gonna put a lot of plants. So we're, there's gonna be like a huge pot plant there, more of just decoration. This, this part is the storage. This is the storage. Um, the pantry, they call it the pantry. So what we're gonna do, we just removed the window, but we're maintaining the wooden wooden um, slabs so we're just gonna repaint it and then maybe put a lighting fixture here do the ceiling again for the ceiling for the kitchen also it's going to be just normal square gypsum and then here we are just going to continue with the tiles this will be the entrance and the exit of the kitchen so we had sealed the other doors so this will be the main this will be the only entrance and exit of 
the kitchen. So what we're gonna do is just maybe paint it and uh, do the floor work, which is tiles, sandstone tiles, yeah. This is another uh, building. We've come from the main office, now we're moving now to another building. They have put the pillars. This is gonna be the studio, uh, a TV studio. So they've put up the pillars. They put the pillars inside, which creates the foundation. And then they lifted up these other ones, which uh, I think it's six meters tall uh, by 12 by eight. Yeah, so what they're doing right now, they're putting these things to put on the roof and then they'll put the sheets. One of the, the people in charge uh, will come and explain the process. I think this will only take like two weeks to be done and then you can get in, do the interior. This will be so much fun, yeah. So let's go and call him, yeah? As you can see, they're lifting and putting it as part of the roof, which will, be, will hold the sheets. Uh, I think our very talented young man here will explain. In Inua grass, so that it will na to end up with a mapati. I love when you to Malaysia it does. So guys, it's a wrap for today. Uh, it's been amazing. It's been dynamic. We've seen the spaces. We've explored uh, what is going to be, which is uh, very interesting, and I cannot wait. So guys. If you want to see what's going to happen next for more of final looks, keep it locked here, Sunspeak Interiors. Yeah. Ciao.